Today, we are going to have a lot of fun while making some elephant toothpaste. This is from lesson eight in the chemistry science unit from The Good and the Beautiful. This experiment involves both physical and chemical changes. Physical changes do not change the chemical composition of a substance, whereas chemical changes form new substances. We are going to decompose hydrogen peroxide, which is two hydrogen molecules and two oxygen molecules, also known as H2O2, into water, or H2O, and oxygen gas, also called O2. Remember, to decompose means to break down a compound into new substances. A catalyst will be used to help speed up the reaction, but the catalyst will not undergo any chemical changes. In this experiment, our catalyst will be yeast. Now before we get started, turn to the elephant toothpaste experiment page in your student journal. Pause the video while you write down your hypothesis of what chemical change clues you expect to see as we perform our experiment. All right, here we go. These are all the items we will need for our experiment. As you can see, this experiment uses quite a few supplies. You can find a full list in your book. I'm going to place a graduated cylinder on this tray and then I'm going to pour several drops of dish soap in. It doesn't need to be an exact amount. Now let's just add a bit of color just for fun. Now I will carefully add hydrogen peroxide until it reaches the 100 milliliter mark. Next, let's mix 10 grams of yeast and 50 milliliters of warm water into this beaker and give it a quick stir. All right, it's time for the action. Are you ready? Pay close attention to which chemical change clues you notice as I quickly pour the yeast mixture into the graduated cylinder. Pretty cool, right? Just by putting my hand on the outside of the cylinder or by touching the foam, I can feel the temperature has increased, which is what? A clue of chemical change. Let's take a minute to chat about this experiment, and as we do, make sure to complete the chemical changes section in your student journal. As we formed the mixture of the three liquids, the dish soap, hydrogen peroxide, and food coloring, we saw a color change. But none of these substances interacted chemically to form new substances, so this is just a physical change from adding the food coloring. That is also true for the yeast dissolving in the water. Nothing changed the chemical bonds that held the atoms together in the molecules of these substances. The yeast we used as a catalyst helped speed up the breakdown of hydrogen peroxide into water, but the yeast molecules were not changed into something new. I could smell the yeasty smell as it was quite strong. However, this smell was present before and after the reaction, so this too was just a physical property of yeast, not a new smell that formed due to the reaction. We used the soap to help trap the gas in bubbles so we could see it. Did you notice the two main chemical reaction clues? First, the heat released, and second, the gas formed. As I'm sure you remember, the graduated cylinder felt warm as I touched it. This is called an exothermic reaction because heat is being released. Also, gas formed as hydrogen peroxide was broken down to form oxygen molecules, and we could see that in the bubbles. Don't forget to fill out the chart in your student journal. 